Hello and welcome back. Today on the bench is a freaking great big mains transformer for fuck off good big capacitors power supply module and two channels of stereo supposedly 200 ish watts amplifiers power amplifiers came out of an old Shaw mixer so this is the plan get this power supply up and going power these up but take these transistors off these silly bloody heat sinks because this desk mixing desk it's a powered mixing desk for live recording had a fan this ain't going to, this isn't going to have a fan because this is going inside a big subwoofer so I'm going to put those on heat sinks separate heat sinks that I've got and the idea is to bridge the output so to get like a roughly 400 watt amplifier how am I going to do that good question this is the idea whether it works or not I don't know it could be a you know a pile of shit but I'm going to use what am I going to use I'm going to use a I'm trying to use some of these I've got loads of bits so use one of these um, what do you call it input transformers signal in like here on the end and we've got a balanced signal out so I've never I've no idea how to do a much um, a uh, bridge what do you call it bridge amplifier but I presume if it's like push pull if we put a signal in here from the um, what do you call it from the input transformer put a signal in here positive going there negative going on this side like 180 degrees out of phase then therefore our output should be right yeah does that sound logical I mean, it does to me but whether it'll work or not I don't know I haven't got a very good reputation with these these three-legged fuses I just killed an amplifier earlier on by uh, touching one of the um, transistors with the uh, oscilloscope probe and killed it yeah that's why I like valves they're a bit more forgiving anyway so this is a power supply put that out of the way so step over this way my friends what have we got we've got a complicated ish looking schematic of the power supply this is obviously the power transformer and it's wired for 120 volts with the two primaries in parallel makes sense doesn't it so I've just measured the primary uh, black and red black and I'm using my Variac down here to feed some AC into the primary right pin your ears back Oh, and I'm also measuring the output 26 if we're right if I've got the primary right we should get at 240 volts should get about 60 odd volts right can you hear that that's not that's not a happy transformer and look at our current not happy okie dokie as you can see here we've got a highly dodgy way of connecting everything together and that's nearly touching we don't want that to touch we don't want the secondary and the primary to touch do we so we just i've just got a an old uh, lead off an iron which is coming at me variac lamp limiter that's a good point i should put the lamp limiter on really and then i'm just using a, a jump lead to connect two of the primaries together and then we'll see what happens shall we uh, I mean like loads of people on YouTube will say don't do this but 
I mean, you've got to learn, haven't you? So, obviously, don't touch any bloody wires. Make sure there's no shorts. Monitor the current. And you should be all right. That's sounding better to me. We we'll come over here. See, we've got no current. 100 volts. 150 volts. That's about 10 volts out. So we're 150 volts there, I think. No, and then it's 10 volts higher. So 170 volts. There's our secondary output, 36. Oh, stop waving the camera around. Can you hear the transformer? Right, a bit of. I don't know if you can hear anything. Right, I'm presuming everything is cushy. So, set that to 230 because we're 10 volts higher. I've got an output of 42. Right, obviously it's going to be lower, isn't it? 42 volts AC, once that's rectified, should give us... What does it say here? Where are we? Can't see for looking. Here we are. 54 volts, plus or minus... Plus 54 volts, minus 54 volts, or negative 54 volts. Right, battery just run out. I'm just going to film a little bit more before I nip out. Radio. One thing I didn't do before was connect this other 20 volt secondary up. So, when we power that up, we've all that joined up together, make sure nothing's touching. Oh, you bugger. Something just made a noise. Makes me jump when I'm mucking about where I bought it when you hear a noise. That gives us 40.7 volts. Right. Which sounds a little bit low. And the on button, you old fool. Where are we? So, to find out what we're going to get uh, when it's rectified and smoothed and all the rest of it, we times 40 by 1.4. One four, and that gives us 56. And what were we looking for? Find it, you old fool. We've got 54 here, right? I would have expected us to get to that for that to be more, but these are quite beefy windings, so maybe we'll be all right. And maybe the transformer has good regulation because. For them that don't know, if a transformer has poor regulation, it's not going to convert all the magnetic energy that's on the primary into the secondary. So we're going to be struggling. So what do we need to do next to get this working? Right, this is a big transformer. As you saw there, I brought up the voltage slowly. If I was to bang switch that 240 volts straight in there, depending on where it is on the cycle, we could get a big current surge. So what we need is first we need safety first. So we're going to need a fuse. So I've got a inline fuse holder. First thing we need is a fuse, and then well actually no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put. In my box of parts, it's quite a big transformer. I'm going to put quite a big, uh, what do you call it? What's it called? Thermistor. I'm going to put one of those on, or maybe a smaller one. So, first the thermistor to stop the current rush. Also, a thermistor will mean that we can put a slightly smaller fuse on. Which means that if there is a fault situation, the flow, fuse will blow quicker, in theory. The following morning, come on, focus your bugger. The following morning, and we are trying out a new lapel microphone that I found. Hopefully, improve the sound a bit and uh, get rid of some of the plosives. Any road. 
starting to get on a bit got the capacitors wired up can't remember if I said yesterday because the battery kept going we're putting two of these big capacitors in series because they're only rated for 40 volts and the we're looking at 56 volts I've, I've, they'll probably take 56 volts I have mean, had a uh, few capacitors blow up well no only one capacitor blow up and don't really want to risk it so yeah they're, they're in series so each one of these capacitors is 33,000 mic so half that and we've got about 15,000 mic farads was wiring the bridge rectifier yesterday but I can't find any data on this at all it looks like it should do the job but I'm going to swap it out for this one which is the original one that it came off that's rated for 25 amps so we should be good um, yeah using all these a bit more capacitance than what the transformer is probably rated for because this is for a subwoofer we want plenty of stored energy because we've got a it takes a lot of power to move that big 18 inch woofer so the more headroom we've got in the power supply department the better what else have I got to say nothing at the moment so I'm going to carry on wiring up and then we'll come back when we've got a bit more progress